Hey guys. So the person who is my favorite artist this year is definitely Macklemore. And, you know, I have to say the first time I heard Thrift Shop, I didn't like it. And I was like, what the heck is this song about? I heard the chorus and I was like, no, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to listen to this. And then I heard Same Love, which is another song he did. And that song just, it really resonated with me. Just, you know, not knowing who you are and then... You know, I, I feel like I'm still struggling with that, trying to figure out who it is I am. And that song led me to Neon Cathedral, which is another song on his album. And I just kept going further down the rabbit hole. Um, and then he released Can't Hold Us, which is an awesome song. And it's one of those songs that you have to listen over. You have to listen to it over and over and over again to understand what he's saying, let alone recite the lyrics. And I've listened to it so many times that I'm able to do that, you know, return to the Mac, get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't. Like for a better way to get up out of bed is to get on the internet and check the new me get up. Uh. And my favorite line to that song, or my favorite lyrics, are, um, um, y'all can't stop me. I go hard like a guy need to wait in my heartbeat. And I mean to get the beat like he gave a little speed to a great white shark on Shark Week. Shark Week reference. How awesome is that? Um, you know, he's so different than I think what I expect rap to be like. And that makes me think that he could be a game changer. And actually take rap in a d direction that we're not really used to seeing. You know, this not only white rapper, but this cool, very hipsterish, fur coat wearing white rapper is making music that represents what I feel my generation looks like, um, you know, coming from a middle class um, family. Uh, and, you know, Can't Hold Us, the, the chorus of that song could totally have been done by somebody bigger like John Legend would fit that perfectly but instead of using somebody big he decides to go with somebody who's unknown I don't know who that that guy is at all I have no idea who sings that chorus of that song and we'll probably never hear from him again but he gave an opportunity to somebody who who I think deserved it and that's why it's another reason why I think he could be a game changer so that is the artist of the year for me. I hope you guys enjoy this. I will see you guys soon. Thank you for listening. Bye.